New Zealand Tonight and Mike Hosking with some great Kiwi music from the Waratahs. At a time when New Zealand music seems to be coming into its own with 10% quotas on radio stations, the local recording industry has a hit snag. Songs like this from Wellington's Waratahs are making an impact on the singles charts, but they're coming to grief just when they should be enjoying the sweet taste of success. The problem is, people who want to buy records meet with this response. No, I'm sorry, it's out of stock. What about the, uh, the Tex Pistol one? Same story. And they're out of stock because of the closure of the EMI record pressing plant in the Hutt Valley, with records now having to be pressed in Australia. As a consequence, the companies, the larger companies, have got credit facilities over there. The smaller companies are finding that they're being squeezed out unless they have that sort of financial backing. One song drastically affected by the EMI plant closure was the former number one, Game of Love, by Tex Pistol. The song hit the top spot three weeks ago, and with high rotate radio play, was destined to stay there for some time. However, the next week, the song had dropped to number 21 because record shops had run out of copies. The day that, that the song became successful, the plant closed down. We pressed, um, I think, about 1,500 or 2,000 to start with, which is a lot for a local record. I mean, that's quite a lot of records. Uh, and they sold out within you know, days or a week or so. So we managed to get EMI to repress another 1,000 for us just before they closed down. Um, but that was it, and uh, so the record got to number one, and then uh, as we sold out, it dropped to number four, and then the next week it had plummeted down to number 21. Oh, it's frustrating. Yeah. No one's to blame, I don't think. It's going to need some financial genius to, to uh, make a stake in the record industry in, in terms of the local product. Once that happens, and we don't see any problem, but it's going to be next year now. It's, Christmas is gone for a lot of New Zealand artists. Trevor Rieke of Pagan Records, a small company most affected by the EMI closure, says the situation will remain until we get a flow of good records. He says the Tex Pistol and the Waratah situation is inevitable. It's just a case of learning how to cope. One option for those who are really dying to get a copy of their favourite New Zealand song is the cassette. Audio cassettes are still made in New Zealand and smaller record companies are having to resort to them to be heard.